All right, so kind of joked a little bit about my obsession with uh, SQ1 sequencers and uh, how many of them I have. So I thought maybe I kind of justify my impulse to and collective habit to show you a little bit of what I do using all of them. So I have uh, two main eight-step sequences coming from this one here. Um, this is SQ1 number three as I've tagged it. And each of the gate and note outputs from here are being sent to the signal selector in my modular. Um, the note sequences are being fed into their own mixer after that, and the gate sequences are fed into their own mixer after that. Um, the note sequences are then combined with SQ1 number two here, and this one's running at half the speed of the main one, and I have couple transpose um, spots set up on here. Basically, so every time it runs through the eight steps, it will transpose it to a different note. Um, this one's running at 16 steps. And then the gate sequences are mixed with the gates from SQ1 number four. This one's running at double the speed with a slightly less duty cycle. Um, it's a 15 note sequence. So basically using this to kind of create a ratcheting effect. Um, I don't know if that's technically ratcheting, but it's kind of ratcheting as far as I'm concerned. Um, and this is being fed in with the gate sequencers and um, from the main sequence here. So this being a 15 note sequence, it'll kind of throw those ratcheting effects into the main sequence at different points as it's progressing. So it's never gonna be in the same spot again. And then after those are mixed, um, they're being fed into the Voyager. I've just got a two oscillator patch, um, hard sync on oscillator two, 12 decibel per octave filter setting, uh, a little bit of noise mixed in there some FN modulation from oscillator three and the filter cutoff and wave shape are being modulated by the main pitch sequence as well. Uh, on the first SQ one here, I've got just a basic drum thing going on. The two eight step sequences running at the same speed as the main sequence. And I have kick drum from the Tama Tech Star set up on the top one, and clap from the Tama Tech Star set up on the bottom one. I've uh, got that running into Ableton Live, where I'm going to add in some delay, some um, extra reverb. Uh, I should also note, too, I have the Voyager running into the Neural Agonizer in my modular, uh, which is being pretty crazily modulated by the Mankato filter in self-oscillation mode, um, changing all the uh, different filter settings and whatnot. And yeah, so I'll start off just showing you the main sequence, nothing added to it. I'll switch between them. Then I'll add in some of the ratcheting effect, the transposing, effects, drums, kind of let everything fledge itself out and hopefully have a halfway decent start to a track by the end of this.